Ed, what did uh, Jesus say to John that he was the purpose of his writing? What did he say? That he, what, what was the reason he wanted him to write the book of Revelation? Well, he wanted him to talk about the things which had been, which are, and which will be hereafter. What are those three? Those three categories, the past, the present, and the future, in essence. Uh, he wants to say, I am the Lord of history. Uh, I am the Lord of the church in the present. I'm the Lord of the future. And it's one of the triplets in the book. The book is filled with triplets. Uh, the very blessing passage uh, has three emphases to it. Uh, the person of God, the one who was and is and shall always be. Uh, all those triplets and 1,200 ands are used in the book of Revelation, the little Greek word chi, uh, the chiameter pattern that connects the book together to say this is not a cyclical prophecy going around in circles. It's moving from one event to another to another to another. This happened and then this and then this. It creates anticipation as you read the book. Something exciting is coming in the future and it's Jesus. Yeah, Ron, in the very first chapter, when lay people get together and study this and it talks about who God is, they ought to stop and they ought to kind of think about what is being said about God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit because you see the sovereign God ruling over all. It should encourage them in their faith. What else would it would do? Well, I think it would give us confidence in what the future holds. One of the reasons why the book of Revelation was written was to help the persecuted believers in the seven churches. And knowing the last chapter of the book and how we win, as my old friend Dr. Martin put it, gives us strength to deal with the present.